Hi, my name is Lee Matthews and I'm a physiotherapist and this is Pilates Rehab Relax. So don't forget to click like and subscribe for all of our latest content. So this video is about teaching you some gentle neck exercises that you can do in laying. Uh, there's a link uh, elsewhere, I'll, I'll put the link above, for ne gentle neck stretches that you can do in seated. Now, if your neck's particularly sore or uh, you know, you're getting a lot of discomfort, doing neck exercise in seated can sometimes be a little bit irritating for your symptoms. So this is where doing the exercise in laying can help. So whilst it's a little bit more limited as to what exercises you can do, it might actually be that focusing on doing them in laying to begin with and building up your tolerance of that, making it more comfortable, it can be a stepping stone that you can then progress from to doing exercise in seated. So the reason being obviously that when we lay down, uh, you've offloaded the neck. So if you're your neck is a load-bearing set of joints there, uh, and if your head is about the weight of a bowling ball, when you go to lay down, the weight of your head's obviously going through the pillow or whatever you're laying down on. So I'm on the floor on an exercise mat. I'd say you're absolutely fine doing this on your bed at home. You want to have some support underneath your neck as well. So I've just grabbed the cushion off of the sofa. You might have a pillow or something like that. So if you've got quite a poking chin posture, you might need more than one cushion. You might need a big pillow or something similar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay myself down, but something that we're going to use here is a carrier bag. So I've got myself a shopping bag and I'm going to lay with that underneath my my head there there we go so i want you to lay yourself in a comfortable position and what i'm looking for is for the knees to be bent and for the feet to be flat on the floor as well by having the knees bent what that does is it takes any strain off of your low back area as well so find yourself a comfortable position and what you might want to do is scrunch up the the pillow a little bit to fill that gap in the neck so if you find in this position you've got a chin that's poking up to the ceiling, then, then you probably need a little bit more support under you. But if you're comfortable, then, then that's great and we can start. The first exercise we're going to aim for is a rotation movement, so uh, neck rotation. So if we imagine that our, our spine is a nice straight long line from the tailbone all the way to the crown of our head, we want to rotate around that central axis of movement. So I'm not like a giraffe in the zoo swaying my head from side to side. I want to pivot on that axis of movement nice and gently so none of this swaying movement. So here we go. If I go to rotate, rotate around to one side and then back to the middle and all the way to the other side. So it might just be a gentle movement to begin with, but if we want to do that as a stretch, we're just going to go as far as we can, hold that available movement for a while, and then relax into it, yeah? And then slowly back to the middle, and then over the other side. So, you know, you can even make it easier still by facilitating with the bag. So if I go to look towards you again, back to the middle again and then pull over to the other side so you might get some pops and creaks with movement you know joint stiffness can often cause creaks as we go to move and that movement will help to ease tight muscles and um, it will also lubricate the joints as well there so you might have a little bit of facilitation to make it easier or you might be happy just to slide on its own there so if we're doing a stretch you do two to each side you might hold it for up to 10 seconds and if you're just looking for some gentle movement you might do up to five to each side there the first couple might only be small movements but on the last couple you do you might find you can go that little bit further it's a bit like an athlete preparing for a race really if you do these at the start of your day when you wake up then you might actually find that then when you do you know get up and move in when you do things like trying to look over your shoulder for moving the car that you might find that you can actually go that little bit further over time so that's our first movement uh neck rotation the second movement we're going to focus on is a 
is side flexion. So it's a, a movement towards the side. We're going to bring our ear over to the shoulder. I'm going to leave the carrier bag there. And what I'm going to try and do with this one is I'm moving my ear over to my shoulder. And again, holding for a few seconds there. And then back to the middle again. Um, over to the other side. And hold for a few seconds. And back to the middle again. So again, you, you can help with the bag if you want to. So here we go. Over to one side. Hold for a few seconds. Back to the middle again. And back to the other side. Now, nobody is perfectly symmetrical, so it's very common to find that one side's got more movement than the other, and that's completely normal there. So, they're the ones that we need the bag for. I'm going to get that out of the way now, to finish with that. And the last of the exercises we're going to do is a chin, a chin retraction. It's kind of a chin tuck, really. Now, my head is going to stay on a perfectly level... Uh, horizontal plane here and I want them I want the pillow or the cushion to really be scrunched up into the small of your neck with this one and what we're going to do we're going to take the whole of the head and push it gently down through that knobbly lump on the back of the head there so um there you go we've all got a little knobbly lump on the back of the skull and um what I'm looking to do is to gently push into the cushion it's not forcing down as hard as you can. If you really push hard with this, you could cause yourself a headache, yeah? So all I'm looking for is a gentle movement down. And it's a really nice one for, for not only opening up a lot of the joints, so sometimes when people get trapped nerves, actually by doing this retraction movement, it opens up that joint space. But the other thing it does is it works the deep neck muscles that help us with posture. So sometimes people say, oh, you know, my head feels a bit heavy, or I just don't feel uh, comfortable when we're going over bumps in the car and things, um, you know. Or, and by working these postural muscles, a bit like working the postural muscles in the lumbar spine, in the low back area, it can actually help us with any long-term neck pain. So there we go, chin tuck in, and then relax. So if you're really forcing it, you'll end up working all these big muscles around here. Those neck. <laughs> you can see them popping out there. And, um, I'm not interested in those so much. So this is a gentle movement. And, you know, sometimes people even have their hands behind their head here. They just monitor a little bit. But it's a small, it's a subtle movement because we're engaging postural muscles. And um, it won't give you a massive neck like a rugby player but it might actually help to relieve some of your symptoms. You might find you can sit for longer, com more comfortably. So have a go with those, see how you find it. And if you find that you're getting on okay and you're improving, then the progression would be to go on to doing the exercise in seated. And I'll make sure there's a link for the gentle neck stretches in seated as well. And along with all of this, you know, don't forget good posture. Um, good seating posture, sorry, good seated posture is, is an important thing as well there. So um, thanks for joining me, hope that's of help, and see you soon.